The views and opinions expressed during this broadcast are those of the presenters and are not shared by Jucasa Radio or its affiliations. It's time for Smoke Signals, keeping it traditional all hour long on Jucasa Radio. This is for my Native American people. Nationwide. Welcome to Smoke Signals. I'm Jonathan Jeeks. Here we are again, and little Jay's in the building. Yeah, man, we got a special guest right now, man. We have a very <laughs> special guest. Hey, Ashenzia. That's what it is. <laughs> What's up, Jukasa? What do you say? How are you doing? It feels like Mikasa in here. Nice. <laughs> like that. Like that. I'm welcome. fine. Thank you for yeah, having me. Yeah, today. welcome. What do you... I like your long hair still. You know? <laughs> I'm gonna have to take it home. Jesus Back to Jamaica <laughs> with me. You could definitely. This is priceless, you know, guys. You could definitely do something with that hair for sure. For sure. You're so I'll use for baby hair, edges and stuff. <laughs> Holy. Thank you for coming. Welcome to uh, Smoke Signals. Yes, thank you for having me. Guys and, uh, having a blast from morning, eh? Yeah, let's get right into it, man. I want to, <laughs> we want to ask you about the uh, the Vibes Cartel track. Mm-hmm. Uh, so how did it come to, and uh, how did you, how did you get on the track? Well, actually, Elvis from So Unique Records came into an agreement with my manager, Ramesh Major, which is here right now. Big up, Ramesh. Yes. The building and my team, Ramesh Entertainment, yeah, to get me a feature on the track because they said they had a Vibes Cartel track before. I mean, the fact that I'm new, I'm confident, I can DJ, I have the image, everything. They said that they think that I would be perfect for the track to do a collaboration. So they sent me the track and said that I should do it in my own way, not touching the verses, not touching the, the chorus of the song, to leave Vibes Carter to sing the chorus and I do the verses. And you do the verses? And add my touch, yes, for sure. And, and Vibes Carter doesn't lock up right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he is. He's, lo- he's locked up in Jamaica yeah, right yeah, now. Yeah, and, he's, yeah. and he's making dumb plays. And he's, <laughs> he's Listen, I don't know about those, you know. You know, I just know about my part. I need my part in the studio. <laughs> he's a big, yo, yo, big old vibes cartel. Of yo. course. Salute the general. Yo. Boss, yeah? <laughs> Did you get to record in Vibes uh, Studio in Garvin Mead? No, I record in my own studio at Ramish Entertainment. We have our own studio there. So we did a lot of work there. Especially with the Vibes Cartel track. And a lot of my other songs that you've heard, it's also recorded there. Now, Shetsia, I've read that you grew up in gospel, and so did I. Like, uh, we both grew up under colonization. Yeah. You in, you in Jamaica, me here on Six Nations. Which were you? Pentecostal, Seventh-day Adventist, what? <laughs> well, my parents um, kind of were Pentecostal, but kind of Baptist, and so it was like oh. Bapticostal. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, mine is Pentisabbath. Because <laughs> I grew up in Pentecostal church first. Yeah. And then at about uh, starting off high school, that was about 12, 13 years old, I converted to being a Seventh-day Adventist. And so from there, it's just strictly church on Saturdays. No more washing, no more watching oh TV, no more going at the parties. Nope. <laughs> no. Saturdays is for Jesus. I don't know if this is asking too much, but I was wondering if you could sing for us. I heard that you could sing the greatest love of all. <laughs> <laughs> or something by Whitney Houston. Song. Oh my God, I don't remember that song. Yeah, could you sing something a cappella for us? Or is, that, or, or, or is that too much? No, I can, I can, I can. Um, all right, um. Who told the sun where to stand in the morning? And who told the ocean they can only come this far? And who told the moon where to hide till evening? I don't remember them more. <laughs> but I used to love that song. I used to love that song when I was when I was oh in church. <laughs> He's talking me. That was so wicked. <laughs> you guys soon hear the singing part of me. Don't worry. I'm not gonna leave it out. Trust me. <laughs> that was amazing. That was amazing. Blow it away. Right now. <laughs> yeah, that's absolutely amazing. Uh, I have to say that you're like the most biggest superstar we've ever had on our show. Yeah, like we've had yeah. Gary Farmer. Yeah. You know, and uh, why are you gonna do me like that? I've seen them pictures. Don't don't smell my head like that. Come on, <laughs> this is pretty big. Is pretty I want to ask, like, uh, 
did you kind of feel like you were already big before you did the track with Vibes? Like you already had some songs going and you were noticed already? Actually, uh, the, the Vibes Cartel track was my third track that I did and put out. The very first track, I recorded that in about May 2016 last year. That was the first time I've ever been into a studio and actually record on the mic. Holy and yeah. heard myself. Like, listen, it was... It was <laughs> uh, I that that was the first time I actually heard myself. The first time I actually recorded, it was so hard for me. Like we were there all night and we we're saying, "Oh my god, it's like I can't record because Ramesh was like, be more aggressive, make it sound like you mean it, you know, sing with more confidence and all that." I mean, the first fact that it was my first time, it was really hard. So I went home. I was mad, pretty mad with myself. Then I came back the next day and just shot it up real quick and fast. And after hearing it back, we were like, yo, this really sound fire. So Jigga Jigga was actually the first track. It was going on real good. But of course, a lot of people didn't know me. Like the Vibes Cartel track, it put me on a more international level. Like a lot of people outside of Jamaica, in the Caribbean and so forth, got to know me from that track for sure. But a good amount of people knew me from my first track, Jigga Jigga, and the remix that I did of Young Emmys, ooh. Okay, we're going to get to your track with Vibes, but I just want to ask right quick before we go. What do you think of Cardi B? Do you like the Bodak Yellow song? Yo, I was just in the bathroom singing, <laughs> you know where I'm at. You know where I'm at. <laughs> Cardi B. <laughs> I was just in the bathroom singing that. You feel me? But yeah, yeah. I love Cardi B. I mean, I love the type of person she is. She's really goofy and I like that. It's not much artists are like that. You get what I'm saying? Because yeah. the majority of them are like stuck up and yeah, you know, she cool real and G. hype. She and real yo, G. You know, um, yeah. But she's not like that. I, I really feel like, I think she she's Libra. Is she? A Libra? Because I, I, I watched know. Some, Jay would know. I watched, I watched <laughs> something the other day on Instagram. Uh, someone asked her what, what she would name her daughter. Yeah. And she said Libra because it practically describes her. Oh, okay. So, that's a Libra. Yeah, and I'm a Libra. Yeah, so Libra. Probably bef- even before she came out with that track, I was oh, really yeah. watching her. <laughs> no, I was really watching her and was like, yo, this girl, she's good, you know, she I'm has a, potential. I'm a Gemini. Yeah. I'm a Gemini. <laughs> I, I, I don't think I've ever, ever rocked with any Geminis before. I don't know. with this one, though. <laughs> and you never yeah, will. <laughs> and you never will. <laughs> oh, Let's go to the song. Uh, this is Shen CF featuring Vibes Cartel. More hit music up next. 93 Fab Cast Radio. What's up, guys? <laughs> what up? What up? What We're up? Back. We're back with Shen Hey, you done with say a girl Shen C. Another place, you know. Jukasa. Jukasa. Yeah, Jukasa. 93 Fab. Jukasa Radio. And this is Smoke Signals. I'm really glad that you're here. And I want to know Did you ever get to meet Popcon? Yeah, yes, I did, actually. Uh, the first time we spoke, he DM'd me. I was like, I DM'd you? Please send direct message. <laughs> <Holy>. No, no. <laughs> yeah, he was really congratulating me on my success thus far. And from then, we just became friends. Yeah, check nice. up on him. Often, he do the same. He really looks out for me since. Yeah. Giving me pointers on such and such. You know what? I have to, we're on Six Nations here, but I'm going to ask like a, a, a question on behalf of Canada. Mm-hmm. Uh, Drake. Mm-hmm. How do, what are people th- saying about Drake in Jamaica? Everybody loves Drake. Come on, man. <laughs> but one time they were making fun of him like, uh, Drake is the type of person to eat two gummy beers at the same time because he doesn't want one to die, leave the other. So I found, that, <laughs> I found that really funny. I just screenshot it in my phone at the same time because I was dead laughing, I tell you. But big up Drake, of course. I love his music. Love it, love it, love it. I don't have a favorite from him. Yeah, you know, it seems like Toronto and even Brantford has I've had like a Jamaican connection. Mm-hmm. Um, that's been established. Uh, you've heard of Cardinal Official? Yes, yes, Cardinal Official, yeah. Yeah, so like he has connections to Brantford, which is a close city to Six Nations here. Mm. I, I met him once, yeah. but not to like speak. It's just like, hey, what's up? Oh, yeah. I was in his music video. Yeah? Back in the day. Which one? <laughs> It was called Why Look with Why Look. It's called Relate to This. Oh, okay, okay. okay. Check it I out. met him in I met him in England. Oh yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. crazy. Not even for in Canada. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I met him in England. But I didn't know he had ties to here. Didn't know that at all. Yeah, he's from Tr- he's from Toronto really. Oh, okay. Yeah. 
When I when I went to Jamaica, I, w- I was uh, went to these uh, these jams that they have with dancehall mm-hmm. tours. Yeah, yeah, the side chick Tuesdays and the yeah. wedding wedding Wednesdays. Yeah, the wedding Wednesdays and the nipples Tuesday. Yeah. I'm like, where do these people get these Think names? Of, yeah, and they're jams. They're like only jams. Jamaicans. They got side chick Tuesdays. It's like in your head, like I be a side girl there at this. I be a side woman. Got a party the meeting and be a something, but. It's really crazy. I mean, I'm telling you, it starts late and goes straight up to morning. in the morning. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But so it's crazy vibes. <laughs> yeah. Since you asked me, like, what kind of genre do you like? And I kind of just blanked out because I, I like too many, but like little Jason hip hop. Mm-hmm. Um, but w- I noticed with dance hall, I love dance hall mm-hmm. and reggae mm-hmm. and rock steady. I like from like yeah, the 60s. From, like, skia, skia, skia. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I like uh, Alton Ellis <laughs> and stuff like that. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> but anyway, uh, I love dance hall and I love the music videos and I see the the style of dancing they do. And, mm-hmm. I, and I wanted to ask, like, what's is there like a limit on what's too far? Like, it seems like <laughs> it's almost like wrestling now, like jumping from the speakers. Uh, can I tell you? Listen, I'm gonna be on you with that one because I totally agree. <laughs> I mean. It's just pure craziness. I see. Yeah, I see Marvin. But it's not. It's not. It's not just in Jamaica, you know. No, all around no, the world, all around it's the like world, yeah. every year it's getting crazy and crazy. I see, I see Marvin the Beast grab a bike in the tree, and, yeah, in, in the, the tree. pool, and, yeah. everywhere. I, I They're it's, everywhere. It's, it's good. It's clean fun. You know, I, yeah, I'm not against no, it. Yeah, it's no. I love clean it. Fun. It's crazy <laughs> fun. <laughs> That's crazy I wish I could fun. dance. Oh, I wish I could dance, like even just like a, a step or two. Yeah, me too. But I'm gonna get there for sure. <laughs> for sure. Are you a good dancer? Ah, uh, I can only do one wine. <laughs> like on my shows, it's just that really specific. That's my signature wine. Putting my hand on my knees and stuff, and looking back at the little booty around there. But I can't <laughs> really dance for sure. But I can do one and two couple of moves. I have my dance group, the Colony, teaching me at some moves. Yeah, I'll dance with you anytime. Anytime you want to dance. He's in a Gemini. <laughs> Yo, what up? It's your neighborhood pusher, aka El Presidente. And you checking out Jucasa Radio 93.5. Yeah. Oh, the smoke signals. What is it? Oh that's man, happening? they caught us talking about shoes and stuff. <laughs> yeah. Oh god. She likes my shoes. She'd be talking about music. <laughs> but big up to the shows, yes. <laughs> no, we don't have to talk about music. Let's talk about shoes. What kind of shoes do you like? Me, I'm a tomboy, so as you can see what I'm wearing right now. Air forces? Yeah, I like I like sneakers. Yeah. But I like to switch it up a bit sometimes, but when I'm in my heels, I'm definitely gonna take them off. Yeah. Are you Even, not a heels girl? Preach. No, no, <laughs> no. Them something that give you a pure corn and something on your toe. I you know we West Indian we love the corn soup and everything yes. and but not them yes. corn. They wanna like them corn they at all. <laughs> but yeah, I love sneakers more yeah. than than heels, but I like heels too. Yeah. Okay, should see I got four daughters. Give me some advice. <laughs> well, try to be more of a friend to them than a father. For sure, because girls, they like to talk to, they're a few more comfortable talking to somebody who is, they know is like there for them and not somebody who is over their head like, do this, do that. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Be more of a friend, for sure. Okay, I will. <laughs> That's my, my advice to myself. My, my daughter boxes. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. She boxes. She boxes. Tell her, tell her to come teach me. I'm going to be Air Force ready, you know. You know <laughs> can't, <laughs> yo. <laughs> can't go training right away. <laughs> So you're 21, right? I'm going to be 21 in October. So, yes, this October. Oh, Lee. So you must really know what's cool. That's what I'm going to do is I, I need to like uh, vampire off your coolness. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, as I do, you know, so teach us like what's happening in Jamaica right now. Like I, I kind of know, I know like, uh, I know Vibes Cartel. I know mm-hmm. uh, Chronix, mm-hmm. Busy Signal. Well, well, Chronix for sure. Everybody's talking about his album, Chronology. I like the fling. Yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> well, well, ding dong, ding dong, ding dong. Yeah, that and that song was actually produced by Ramesh, you know. No way. Yes, really? so what? very small way. Yeah, yep, he's out yep. there. <laughs> yes, it's really, really big. I mean, Chronic's the concert, of wow. course. He did it for uh, his, his likes. Yeah, likes. likes. Yeah, he, he always does it. Do it for the likes. With do it. I love <laughs> likes and I love um, is victory. I like that one. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, but Chronics is hot right now. Um, Ding Dong, of course, for Fling. Everybody's talking about Fling when you go on social media. Yeah. You know, baby, baby, a Fling. Like, I see baby, a Fling. Y'all not afraid of no Fling out on the shoulder. Like, stop it. You're, <laughs> yeah, you're too yourself. young for this. <laughs> but, but yeah, big up Ding Dong. Of course, he's in my camp as well. Ramesh Entertainment. Ding Dong is my brother. 
Yeah, uh, who else? Idonia is there for you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course, Vibes Cartel, of course, also. Yeah, yeah, you have a lot of them doing quite fine in Jamaica. What about Alkaline? Yeah, Alkaline yeah. too. Alkaline is <laughs> fine. Uh, but what I noticed is that dancehall music is probably one of the biggest genres right now. Like, it's crossing over so much. I mean, a lot yeah. of international artists are coming down and trying to merge with us. So, yeah. I really, really love what's going on for the dancehall artists. Everybody yeah. is happy about it. So, I heard that done. track you did with Sean Paul, man. It was weird. Yeah. How was Sean, Sean Paul? Sean Paul is good, actually. Yeah. I'm going on a tour with him in November. No way. Whoa. That's explosive. What? It's the first time <laughs> I'm going to say that, but yeah. <laughs> That's November, sick. for sure. Oh, November. Mm hmm. That's so is, is that like a worldwide tour? We're actually going to be doing majority of them in the European side. Ah, yeah. Because yeah, Liverpool, more, Birmingham. Yeah, he's a, he, he's more uh, big up there, right? Euros. I, I don't know. <laughs> I heard that he was the biggest in the Spanish market. Oh, yes. That's yes. what I heard. Mm. But I can't tell. I'm not Sean Paul. You know? <laughs> I, I haven't been around the world with him yet to know yeah. where his favorite crowd is. Well, so. would you, if you guys come to Canada, trust me, we're there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you guys love Sean Paul up here? Yeah, man. Okay. I I like Sean. <laughs> <laughs> I love Sean Paul. <laughs> yeah, I remember Sean. Everyone remembers Sean Paul mostly. But like <laughs> people still love him, though. Oh, okay. He's like a people's hero. Yeah. We're, I don't know, maybe not that much. We're actually, <laughs> we're actually, you just like put him up there and take him back down. Like take him back two steps down. I hate you, I can't deal. For, no, for, for Toronto the, likes him. Toronto, <laughs> Toronto for sure. For the listeners out there, we're giving away four tickets to uh, Club Envy yes, on Saturday people. night. Yes, people. Yes, people. I don't know what to say. Shen Sia, call in to the station at 905-296-1286. Jukasa Radio 93.5 FM to get your tickets to my show. You're listening to Jukasa Radio. 93.5 Jukasa Radio. What's up, guys? You're listening to Smoke Signals. <laughs> so what do you think of our interview so far, B? I think it's great. She's a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah. Very outgoing. What else should we ask? Um, how she got started. Okay. You know, I read I read a lot of bios. Did a lot of research. You know, yeah. you should try to get an interview with Nardwar the Human Serviette. Yeah. What? Nardwar? I know that guy from yeah. somewhere. Yeah, you definitely got to because everyone else has who's like huge, right? So you got to get on that list. He's a Canadian guy. He's from Vancouver. So if you're ever in Vancouver, mm -hmm. try to reach out for Nardwar. <laughs> His name's Nardwar. Okay, okay. But Snoop Dogg did like five interviews with him. Like everyone has has done an interview. Mm -hmm. Um and uh. He does a lot of research, so when you do an interview with him, be careful because he's going to really research you, and he'll know a lot of weird stuff like about everything of your life. Okay, thought, I'm, not, I'm not afraid. I keep it real, so <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so ain't nothing can phase me. <laughs> How'd you get your start in music? Because it, it looks like you also know about the music industry too. Like you learned about like promotion as well, right? Well, I've been doing promotion far even before I started working with Ramesh. I was always a promotional girl. Like I used to try and build my Facebook followers and my Facebook friends. By then I was considered uh, to be Facebook famous. And I used to, to, to promote parties for uh, my age group and people who had who, the promoters who were putting on those parties. So like some little parties like Wet Rush and, and all of those. Yeah, those, yeah, those little right, foam. Right, right. That's a little teenage yeah. party. Yeah, Side yeah, Girl Tuesday. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> nah, nah. You didn't went that far. Because those, <laughs> those are really like uh, adult, adult, adult stuff. Adult jams, yeah. So I was really a child teenager back then. So I stuck to promoting teenager stuff. Yeah. So by then I considered to be Facebook famous. And then I started to put up covers of songs on my Facebook page. And then I broadcast them through my WhatsApp. And I put them on Instagram. And ah. so being the fact that I was Facebook famous, it went viral because everybody was like, I didn't even know that she had this time. Who's this girl? Yeah, exactly. Right? <laughs> so I did another one. I decided to show my versatility. The first one I did was a singing song. And then I decided to do a DJ song to show them that I could DJ as well. But I was always singing from before. Like I grew up singing like singing Chris Brown, Rihanna, Michael Jackson and all of that. But I didn't know I could DJ until high school when I was riding to the bus in, <laughs> to school, in the bus to school. You know, they, they used to play a lot of dancehall music. 
So I really took on to that and I was like, yo, yeah, yeah, bone to kill on vibes called Dell and I do on your Caribbean girl. So I started singing along with the artist. And then I'm like, but wait, I have the deep cross device there too. It can work. <laughs> so can I DJ something and I put it out there as well. And that too went viral. And then Beanie Man was the first artist that actually took interest in me and said, yo, you really want to take things serious? Come meet me at my studio and so forth. I went. Beanie. Yes, Moses. Yes. And then Josie Whale was another one that took interest in me as well. Josie, I went also yes, went yes. to his studio. But not that anything was wrong there, you know. But my spirit didn't just like take there that route. Like I want to work. Like really work with these people. So I started doing promotions with Ramesh as well. And he too saw my talents. And being the fact that I was around him, I saw how he de- he dealt with his co-workers his employees, everybody. He was like such a good person. So I took on to that and said, listen, this man is really hardworking. He really, he is really dedicated to his work. It's not like he's a person that talk and don't put out any effort or all of that. So I took interest in that. And he too took interest in me and said, listen, we should come up with an agreement for him to be my manager. And since then, I have no regrets. It's Everything has been going great. And I feel like that was the right time for him to even come to me and say, that, listen, we want to do this. So let's do this. But yeah, that's how I started. And that year was like 2016. I wrote my first song in 2016, February 2016. But in December 2015, I had my son and I was on maternity leave and all that. I was like, I had a lot of time on my hands. So I started writing. And so I put whatever I had out there and people were like, yo, you're a writer too. I'm like, I just have two songs. What are you guys talking about? (laughs) It's not like I even recorded it, as I said before. So I started writing real often with the fact that I was home. And so that's how it all started. And from February 2016 to current date, I have over 80 songs now that I have written. So oh, Lila. Wow. Like, like been, Tupac? Yeah, I'm, 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 I've been working real hard. Yeah, you know, like in Mike Tyson's first fight, he fought like 20, or his first year, he fought 20 fights. Mm-hmm. In one year, yeah, he was like twenty and oh, and he was only nineteen. <laughs> oh, yeah. man. and yeah. I was only nineteen. So you're, so you're Mike Tyson. <laughs> <laughs> Mike Tyson. Yeah. Yeah. A yeah. dancer, right? Yeah, now. yeah, yeah. But Crush I've been, anybody. I've been working really hard. I don't, st- I don't plan to stop until I get on that really international level, like be up there with Drake and those people. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, yeah, that's really where I want to aim. I want to uh, major in R and B and rap. So. I just started with the rap thing, but I'm definitely going to incorporate some of my home genre, which is dance, style and reggae in it. Cause you know, that too, those two genres are really big as well. So I'm trying to do everything because I can, I can do it. So why not? Were you, were you hanging out with Rita Ora? Yes, I was. <laughs> yes, I, I was, I was performing. I was performing actually. And she came to the show. No and, way. Yeah, she was she was insta slapping me and all that and she said, Yo, she has just a true up a six like Ludi up there and <laughs> people said, like yes. she's up there dancing to your song but even the other day recently she posted a video with my songs as well and they captured <laughs> it and put it and put it up on the internet. Sick. So yeah. But she's cool. Yeah. You know, you're cool. I think that you're gonna be a huge superstar. I think so too. <laughs> Like I just, I just. I think you like, already are. Yeah, you are. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to give myself that credit, that credit, and that. El, el, what's what's that word I'm looking for again? <sighs> too much. Oh god, I can't remember. Yeah. But yeah, I don't want to put myself up there too high because I'm really trying to work real hard. Like I'm uh, really below where even my standards right now where I am. I'm thinking of myself below myself so I can really work extra hard to get extra. up there. You get what I'm saying? So I'm not going to give myself any credit like, yo, I'm a star and all that. No. We're going to turn up the place on Saturday though. <laughs> of Club course, Eddie. I will. I, I will say that. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> so everybody roll out to my show at NV Nights Club. It's going to be in Brantford. So get there, people. Come watch me light up the place like dynamite. Yeah, we'll, we'll be there. Now, before we go to a song, I want to ask you one last thing. Uh, I'm a publisher of the Two Row Times, and mm-hmm. we have a special project that we do on a yearly basis called Good Mind Stand Up. Mm-hmm. And it's for the community, and it's an anti-bullying message um, of empowerment of our people because mm-hmm. we're under an oppression here on this reservation. Mm-hmm. Um, I want to ask you, for uh, you know, young people who are listening right now and maybe are struggling, if you have any maybe words of encouragement for them. 
Yes, to be honest, just try to be mentally strong. And one way you can help with that, if you're not really a confident person or a very person that who has a really high self-esteem, just try to read a lot to keep your mind, you know, out of what you're really facing and just pray and pray too for the person that is also bullying you because sometimes they too can be getting abused from their home. So you really can't like put all the blame out there and you don't know their background as well. So all you got to do is just pray and keep a healthy and strong mindset. Just keep yourself busy. Try, when you see them run, try walk. Don't make them see your walk out of them way. <laughs> Get out their way. You know what I'm saying? So just, yeah, just, just try to avoid it as much as you can. And as I said, just read a lot because it really do helps when you're going through a lot of stuff. I, I too can say that because, you know, I, I went through a lot of things in my life and reading was one that really helped me to get over it and distract me from it all. And I guess that's why I'm even such a good writer now. Exactly. You get what I'm saying? Because to be a writer, you, need, you have to come up, come up with imaginations and all <laughs> yeah. that. So it really do helps. It will help in the future as well. So, yeah. What's your favorite book? Uh, I would say the first one that I've ever read off was Secrets to the Grief. But my favorites are like mystery and crime and horror those are my favorite books to read you should check out the game of thrones oh listen i watched that i'm like that no sunday can't pass me <laughs> no i'm i'm even here right now like where's the other come on why are you guys gonna stop it right there at, at episode seven I know. listen i keep up with that yeah. Power, game of thrones empire Power, that's my yeah, thing man. that's my thing empire yeah. empire's wicked that's my thing yeah sure. my, my wife nanta loves cookie Cookie, yeah. yeah, me too. The main yo, character. My, yo, yeah. my mom looks like Cookie. Yeah. <laughs> my way, my mom looks like Cookie. Oh God! <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I love Haro, Haro, and and all of those type of books. I've just started reading because I have a Wattpad on my book, so you guys can also download that too because you can read books for free on there. Oh. So majority of the time when I'm on the plane or so, I try to read and keep myself busy. If I'm not listening to music or writing music on the plane, I'm either going to be reading or sleeping. So, <laughs> But yeah, Wattpad, I just definitely, I started to take interest in romance also. <laughs> Listen, it kind of makes me feel a little like the know? Danielle Steele books like <laughs> it gives me that you know hormones kicking up and stuff yeah. <laughs> but you know but yeah romance is one of the, the, the best genres as well too wow that's awesome it was, you a, know pleasure. It was, a, it was a pleasure to meet you thank Shetia. you thank you yeah, thank you for coming you on the show too. thank you for having me <laughs> you know it's the, it's the end it's the end already this I'll it. come back. Don't worry. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. And you know what? Before we go, why don't you just give everyone like your social media, like at stuff. Yes, definitely. I mean, my Snapchat, my Facebook, my Instagram, uh, my Twitter is Shensia, S-H-E-N-S-E-E-A. And you guys can go and check out all my music videos that are trending right now on YouTube at my YouTube channel, which is Shensia Vivo.